Would you like to rapidly turn images, face portraits, into dynamic videos or GIFs? If so, let's jump into action and make use of Animate Diff, LCM LoRa's, ControlNet, and IP adapters seamlessly integrated within the Stable Diffusion UI. Before embarking on the journey to craft video animations from images, optimal for close-up shots or face portraits, it's essential to establish the necessary prerequisites. So let's get started. Our primary requirement is the use of Animate Diff, our favorite extension that facilitates the effortless generation of videos or GIFs. If you have not yet installed the Animate Diff extension and the LCM LoRa's, which enhance the rendering process, you can refer to a dedicated article and video for step-by-step -step instructions on downloading and installing them. Before proceeding, ensure that you have ControlNet installed and updated to the latest version. For detailed instructions on the installation process, please consult our comprehensive ControlNet installation guide. The link is in the description. To start, obtaining an IP adapter model for ControlNet is crucial, particularly for utilizing image prompting in stable diffusion. If you haven't installed IP adapter models, we'll provide a link in the description of the official Hugging Face website. Additionally, there's a comprehensive article available that guides you through the process of downloading and using various IP adapter models, so feel free to explore it for more information. After ensuring that all essential prerequisites are met, navigate to the text to image sub tab within the Stable Diffusion UI. Scroll down to access the control net settings. Begin by supplying the canvas with an initial image, which will subsequently be transformed into a video or GIF animation. Next, activate control net and choose Pixel Perfect. For the control type, opt for IP Adapter and select the model named IP Adapter Plus SD15. For the control weight, select one and leave the remaining settings in their default state. We will utilize the IP Adapter control type in ControlNet, enabling image prompting. This means that our initial image will be the reference for the style, facial structures, and resemblance in our final video animation. Subsequently, Locate the Animate Diff drop-down menu within the Text to Image sub-tab and tailor the settings to create a video or GIF animation from the provided image in ControlNet. Choose the latest motion module, identified as MMSDV15V2.CKPT. For the save format, opt for MP4 and GIF, though you can select any format according to your preference. Activate Animate Diff Adjust the number of frames to 32 and set the frames per second FPS to 8, leaving the remaining settings in their default state. For a more in-depth comprehension of the Animate Diff extension, it is advisable to visit the official Animate Diff GitHub page. The link can be found in the description. Navigate to the top and select a checkpoint for generating a video animation. The choice is yours, whether you prefer a realistic or cartoon-style result. While the decision is entirely in your hands, for the purposes of this tutorial, we will opt for a realistic checkpoint. We've incorporated the LCM LoRa to speed up the rendering process. To maintain simplicity, we are not adding additional keywords to our positive prompt, relying on image prompting through our reference image in ControlNet, coupled with the IP adapter. Choose LCM for the sampling method and set the sampling steps to eight. Opt for a width and height that suits your needs and set the CFG scale to two, with the seed set to minus one. Keep in mind that based on the checkpoint and the data it was trained on, your animation could split horizontally into two odd parts if your dimensions are too large. Opt for smaller width and height values and consider whether you wanna use Hire's Fix to scale up your final video or GIF animation. In this tutorial, we won't be using the upscaling method. Once all the settings are set, Simply click on Generate to experience faster video creation, thanks to the inclusion of LCM LoRa. After the animation generation process is finished, locate the resulting video or GIF by navigating to the following file path. Stable Diffusion Web UI, Outputs, Text to Image Images, Animate Diff, along with the corresponding folder for the accurate date. We will share an array of impressive videos with you, but it's essential to note that these video animations are crafted without the use of Hire's Fix and are not upscaled. Additionally, it's worth emphasizing that superior results are typically achieved when using face portraits as reference images compared to full body reference images. 
In conclusion, our exploration into transforming static images into dynamic videos or GIFs through Animate Diff, LCM LoRa's, and IP adapters within the Stable Diffusion framework. With streamlined settings and careful integration, this method empowers creators to effortlessly breathe life into face portraits and close-up images. The showcased examples demonstrate the impressive results, emphasizing the potential of this approach for elevating content creation. We hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one. Take care.